Hey guys, so today we are going to go abs in over the deck and you might be like, oh, why are we doing the abs in deck again? Well, I wanna show you how to really play abs in in more detail than just a deck list. So you have these lands, the lands are very basic um, windswept. Why I chose, oh, I get, I wanna tell you why I chose certain cards over other cards. I've seen a lot of deck lists and they use the new, new battle lands and they use a lot more fetch lands to get the battle lands. I don't know, like I feel like I would much rather take damage. Um, the meta currently in my locals is very slow. You're talking about Esper Control. And Jeske Black or Dark Jeske, whatever you want to call it, um, that's a very fast deck, but you want the, you, you can't have land come and play tapped. Otherwise you would be blown out by Manus Rider. Manus Rider is enemy number one for this deck, in my opinion. Vents are very good slow land but that the life does matter especially as a blocker later in the game and then you have your waste you have one vista to pull from your four fetch lands you have a jungle hollow for the lands uh two forest and a plains so mainly this land base is very it allows you to interact quickly but at the same time with the events you can play the long term game now i'm trying to figure out what my sideboard is this is my sideboard I don't play a full playset of this. Uh, getting multiples of this, it feels bad to me. And so having two of them, you can always, you're not gonna really stack on that. Uh, but it is very good. It does deal, allow you to go aggro. Um, late game, I don't really use it very much. I just turn it into you know, free free and smash face with it. Hang back walker, you play four of them. Uh, what can I say about this creature? I tried playing two, but then the deck was not optimized. This is the best creature in standard right now. It is uh, played in all types of decks, and it's very, very good. Den Protector. Uh, Den Protector a lot of times comes down as a 2-1 for me uh, against the, what is it, red-green ramp, Aldrazi ramp, where they try and play the uh, Ogamog. And so this card is very good. It does come down late game as a turn five drop where you can instantly get something back. And that's pretty good too. This is against Hanging Back Walkers. I don't play a play set of them mainly because I much rather not um, have an enchantment response to it. If possible, as you will see from the sideboard, I rather have an instant response. That way I'm not tapped out or I'm not, I can respond to them uh, proactively and not, you know, so if they play Hanging Back Walker, I play, I tap out or I tap two out three mana, play Soak Wrap, they can play Madness and hit me. Uh, that's not the position I want to be at, um, especially against Madness. Madness is such a good card against me. Uh, Valor's Stance is very good, Dromoko's Command, there's not very much to say about that. You could play four commands, but I find that's a little too much. Uh, stance making something indestructible is sometimes relevant. Uh, two ultimate price, again, instant speed. And you're going to see from the sideboard what I mean because a lot of this changes out in the sideboard. Uh, very good, very, very good against other hanging back walkers. Abs and charm, there's no reason. Uh, I see a lot of deck lists that do not play four of these, but it's just a beating. I don't understand why you wouldn't play four of them. It seems like a auto include in any deck. Uh, really is what exactly what you need when you need it and gives you that flexibility destroying a creature that's very useful but then drawing two cards is extremely useful too and then you can get in lethal or you can put the two plus one plus one counters on walker and then trade up and then get your you know flyers right this is not good like i heroes downfall this ruinous path is not i almost never use it like i use it only when i need to kill a plane walker and there's Gideons, so we run Gideons, but Gideon is a Planeswalker we absolutely must kill if they play their Gideon first. Because we, we don't really interact that well with Gideon because uh, he produces Planeswalkers. We, have, we don't have mass removal. And even if you had mass removal, you're not going to hit Gideon. You're just going to make more tokens. So we do have our, play, our set of Gideons. Uh, we don't have a play set mainly because four is on the high end. And obviously you have your Rhino, and it's never wrong, and then you have your one Murder's Cut. It's never wrong to play Rhino. It, it just feels good. Like, I don't, I've never, there's never been a situation where I have Rhino in hand, four lands that I can, I can play him, and I don't play him. I hold him up and say, okay, well, hmm. Because even if they board wipe, they single remove, 
that's advantage to you. Like you've just traded, um, and you don't really have creatures. Like you don't, ha you're not a token deck. You're not um, in particular a deck that's generating a lot of creatures on board. But creatures you do have are higher quality, and the only thing that I have to worry about is just K Black. Uh, just K Black tends to be a tiny bit faster than this deck, but only a tiny bit. And so you side out your removal, you side out your paths, they always go out, uh, your charms, and then you bring in this package. Um, I only have her because I like her a lot. She has no utility in the sideboard. Two stances, uh, two more stances. So depending on, do you want more Dromokers commands or do you want less of them and you want more stances? Uh, ultimate price. Ultimate price, obviously very good against mono creatures. Uh, there's a ton of mono creatures that give you nightmares in this particular deck. So ultimate price might come in for those. Uh, your sideboard is excellent. That's one of the reasons that this deck is so dominant in my meta is because sideboard is so good. This one kills uh, Manus Rider and Rhino. So Surge of Righteousness at instant speed and gives you back life. Really, really relevant in this type of deck. Um, remember our land base does a tremendous amount of damage to us because of the pain lands, but that's okay because we're trading it for a turn two, destroy that creature at instant speed. Instant speed, in my opinion, well worth it. Extremely worth it. Uh, Self-inflicted womb, you guys might be like, oh, that's not instant speed. Yeah, it's not instant speed, but it takes care of, um, it takes care of Mantis and takes care of Rhino. Uh, those are the two cards I see over and over again. So sideboarding against the Abzan or sideboarding against a Dark Jeskai, very, very easy to do. You just bring in like all your two drop removal. This is against Burn and this is against Control. So the sideboard is very, very good. It's um, a little bit, it's kind of OP against the current meta because once you sideboard, you have a totally different deck. So if you're playing Rhino, this is what you're gonna sideboard. Um, you probably don't need the spies, you're probably gonna sideboard this, or you're playing Abzan, sideboard, you know, all of these cards. Uh, Rhino, I don't know. Stance probably, and then that's it. Uh, so you sideboard in, in seven pieces of two drop remove or two cost removal, five of them being instant speed. Uh, Mantis uh, Riders pretty just escape blacks pretty much the same against beat down decks like red deck wins. This card is just very OP against that deck. So very very relevant deck. This deck will be good until it rotates out until Rhino goes says goodbye. And there's no reason that, you know, if you want to win, this is the deck I play. Uh, if I want to have fun, I play allies or I play goblins or I do FNM lion. But this is a deck that is very difficult, mainly because it's a sideboard, in my opinion, difficult to beat. Um, you know, Esper tokens, yes, that's kind of annoying. Um, green, white, Megamorph. You, you have very good removal against green, white, Megamorph because you can bring in the ultimate prices again. Uh, and control green red ramp um, you're just too fast for them uh, you just drop your you just drop everything on you know you have a four beater for free you have a uh, two beater a den protector that you can drop very fast you have the hanger back walkers that can are very good against control because control is just going to pass turn you just make your hang back bigger you play something to counter it okay I make my hand back bigger uh, anyway, it's a very well-suited deck against a most current, most current highly played decks right now. Bye, guys.